location to Fender.com or call 800-620-5898 for free advice on your situation. 800-620-5898. When people have a craving to explore new and traditional Asian cuisines, they head to P.F. Chang's, where scratch-made dishes come from the 2,000-year-old tradition of wok cooking. P.F. Chang's wanted to explore new possibilities for their website. They turned to AmericanEagle.com. AmericanEagle.com re-architected P.F. Chang's website, integrating multiple third-party systems to create a unified digital experience. The results? Improved page speed and performance, personalized content based on users' location, intuitive online ordering, an increase in organic search visibility, and a 40% increase in new users. For scratch-made Asian cuisine, visit your local P.F. Chang's or go to pfchang's.com for website design, development, digital marketing, and hosting that produce efficiency, revenue, and results. Visit AmericanEagle.com. P.F. Chang's at AmericanEagle.com. Another example of the best businesses in the world. Turning to the best in the business for websites, go to AmericanEagle.com or call 877-WEB-NOW-1. That's 877-WEB-NOW-1. When searching for a plumbing or AC expert, search Gettle.com. Headlines, the breaking news, the in-depth coverage. Southern California's only 24-hour local news and traffic station. KMX News, 97.1 FM. Everything you need, every time you listen. Hey, it's 315. Good afternoon. I'm Larry Perel, coming up on KNX News, 97.1 FM. After being badly damaged in an arson fire two years ago, Mission San Gabriel opens its doors today for a mass. We'll give you an update on its reconstruction. I'm Natalie Savidian. Amazon is still trying to digest Whole Foods. That story kept in five minutes when Bloomberg checks your money. Now, two firearms were stolen in a burglary at a home of Representative and mayoral candidate Karen Bass. These stories coming up in the next 15 minutes, but first... We have traffic and weather together every 10 minutes off in the five. Here's Tim Greenwood. We have a new sig alert in the carpool and the lane right next to it. 405 north and southbound at Venice Boulevard. Uh, we had started with an injury crash at that location. Uh, it was uh, two cars and a motorcycle. The motorcycle driver was on the ground, possible broken legs, and they have blocked the carpool in the number one lane both directions uh, to bring up the emergency equipment on the opposite side. The crash is on the southbound side. Emergency equipment coming up on the northbound side. You're going to lose two lanes at the center divider. 405 at Bennett's Boulevard. Five freeway northbound at the 10. A signaler there as well. All lanes of the transition road from the 5 north to the 10 east are currently taken away uh, with the aftermath of another crash. This is an injury crash. And this one uh, is the 5 north to the 10 east. 405 southbound at Venice and uh, 5 north to the 10 east. 57 north at Diamond Bar Boulevard off-ramp. Uh, both lanes of the right side taken away. And west on the 101, uh, this was the one into Agora Hills. Uh, the one that I thought we would be talking about, but all these others popped up in five minutes. A 101 westbound at Reyes Adobe. It's a two-car crash, two right lanes, and one of those cars is upside down. Next traffic report 325 in the 24-hour traffic center. KX News 971 FM. A very warm and humid weather pattern will continue this weekend. We have the remnants of Tropical Storm K offshore, and with that, the humidity values will continue to be high. Also looking then at the chance of showers and thunderstorms through this afternoon with heavy downpours possible mainly in the mountain areas and out into the desert. We can expect to see temperatures also not quite as hot into the upper 80s today throughout the area. In the mountains will be in the 70s. Tomorrow, more of the same. We have high 80s on the way. And then next week, falling back into the mid-70s by Wednesday, for the uh, beaches and the LA area will be back into the lower 80s. So a cool down by next week and not as humid. With Southern California's most accurate and dependable forecast, I'm CBS 2 meteorologist Alyssa Carlson for KNX News 97.1 FM. And right now 81 degrees in Santa Clarita at 318. A temporary one-day mass at the Mission San Gabriel today for the first time in more than two years. The arson fire destroyed its roof and caused a lot of damage. We'd like to especially thank Roger Gomez for choosing to focus this usually here on the 253 of the of After navigating a long restoration process for more than two years, a mass of thanksgiving at the Mission St. Gabriel. Terry Huerta with the mission. Celebrate that we are 95% of the way completed with, with restoring the mission to where it needs to be. Archbishop Jose Gomez celebrating this mass to mark the closing of the forward and 
mission jubilee year. Natalie Tavidian, KNX News 97.1 FM. The rain generated by Tropical Storm K in the Pacific has been a big help to crews fighting that deadly 28,000 acre wildfire near Hennett in Riverside County. And now they've got it to 40% contained, and authorities have also been able to lift some evacuation orders. But CBS 2's Nicole Comstock says there's also a potential downside to the rain, which is keeping firefighters and other emergency workers on alert, forcing people to wait longer to return to their homes. It's also made the terrain very muddy and difficult to navigate for ground crews. And they are expecting some more rain out here throughout the weekend. So the lingering concern for Cal Fire is mud flow potentially coming from this burn area. They're asking residents to just be patient with them. The fire has killed two people and destroyed more than a dozen structures, including several homes since it broke out last Monday, and the cause is still under investigation. We're going to check your money now with Bloomberg's and Kate. Amazon's nearly $14 billion acquisition of Whole Foods five years ago continues to evolve. Bloomberg reporter Matt Day says Whole Foods is taking on other supermarket companies that are now starting to offer organic items. Their sales growth is slowing because all those big chains. Kroger, Walmart, Albertsons, it all started stocking organic, all started stocking natural products, and really going after whole food. So, uh, under Amazon, they definitely have some financial firepower to kind of reinvent themselves and maybe see if they can expand on their own terms. Day adds that some analysts believe Whole Foods should focus on its original mission and not try to combat bigger rivals. There's actually a school of thought out there in grocery land that they are better off not even doing that, not adding. A lot of the reason people go into the Whole Foods to begin with is they want a good cut of standards. They want cosmetic products that doesn't have ingredients that shouldn't be in cosmetics there. No one for their standards or not for their quality. And that's a lot of the reasons to shop there to begin with. Plus, Amazon is also opening grocery stores under its own name. I'm Bloomberg's Ann Cates from the California Deluxe Windows Money Desk. KNX News 97.1 FM. And coming up on KNX News, what a new survey says about uh, people beginning their shopping and how early they're going to start doing it this year. We'll talk more about that just ahead at 321. in Santa Monica woke up to the sound of sirens. Day and night, KNX is live on the scene of breaking news. From South LA. Reporting live from Anaheim. Live in the Rose Bowl of Pasadena. Giving you the past one minute count. KNX News, 97.1 FM. Everything you need, every time you listen. There's still time. Don't miss it. The final week. Incredible Labor Day deals right now at City on Audio Center. Our prices are the same. Are lower than online. Plus free setup. Say Samsung's. 4K Ultra Smart TVs. This 85 inch, only $13.97. This is 75, 797. This 65, 497. This 55 inch 4K, only $3.97. Sony's amazing OLED TVs are here. Take this 77 inch OLED, only $29.98. This 65, 1798. Take this 55 inch Sony OLED, only $14.98. Video and Audio Center LG OLED headquarters, a 42 to 83 inch, up to $1,000 off. Plus the most incredible audio ever, including the latest. Sound bars with Dolby Atmos, Sonos, JBL, and more. Video and audio center's prices are the same, are lower than online. Plus free setup. Shop in the store or call our hotline 310 899 2929. Incredible Labor Day deals right now at Video and Audio Center. When it's hot, when you're hungry, and when you're craving the most delicious bag from your hard earned bucks, you want Sizzler. Because summer at Sizzler means hot new flavors and cool low prices, like grilled corn on the cob for just $3.19. Want to take prize? $3.19. Three new kitchen tender toppers, still just $3.19 each with purchase of Andre or Salad Bar. It's Sizzler's new county fair menu. Summer salad toppers inside, starting at a cool $3.19. Visit locations.sizzler.com. It's 343 at KNX News. The LA County Sheriff's Department is asking for the public's help in the case of a murdered Metrolink rider. The victim, 27 years of age, Oscar Ayala. He had been riding Metro. He exited the Compton Station. He was badly beaten by somebody who followed followed him off the train and rocked. He died five days later. The crime happened March 13th, just before 6 in the evening. Both the victim and the suspect entered the train at the Compton passenger station. There was no indication that they knew each other, but they walked towards the exit and appeared to be talking. Just beyond the train turnstiles, the suspect assaulted Oscar, who fell to the ground. Los Angeles Sheriff's Lieutenant Hugo Renaga. Investigators have exhausted all leads in trying to determine the suspect's identity. Male Hispanic, about mid-20s, late-20s. One clue that could help jog somebody's memory as to events that day. At the time of the attack, he says the suspect was wearing a distinctive red pandemic face mask. Craig Fickner, KNX News, 97.1 FM. More closures, more repairs, more frustration for folks in Castell. The 5 freeway has had closure since the route fire, which broke out August 31st, and among other things, severely damaged the freeway. LA County Supervisor Catherine Barger says Caltrans has been in 
incredible, but she tells KNX things need to move faster. This part of the freeway provides good movement up to the border of Canada, where it's leaving the harbor, and actually coming back down as well toward Mexico. We need to work together to get this done. I'm encouraging my colleagues in the state to work with me. In fact, Barger has sent a letter to Governor Newsom to appeal to the state to could actively engage to try to speed up the process. She says people have every right to be angry at the ongoing inconvenience, and we also keep you up to date. It's a reminder, and conditions in that area in our traffic reports every 10 minutes on the fives. New survey says a lot of people are going to begin their holiday shopping before Halloween this year. Supply chain issues got people shopping early last year. But Bankrate.com's Ted Rothman tells KNX this year it's more about inflation. Starting earlier, it gives you more time to spread out your cash flow and research the best deals. And I actually think it's a good idea to give yourself more time. And Rothman says there will be deals out there. Major retailers like Target and Walmart are complaining that all of a sudden they have too much inventory and that now they're going to have to start discounting it. That's good news for us as shoppers. He says if you do find a good deal now, grab it. Don't wait until later. Karen Adams, KNX News, 97.1 FM. Coming up on KNX News, the tropical storm still churning off the coast of Mexico has put many people on alert along the SoCal coast where it's causing some high surf. It is 325, traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives. This report brought to you by Grocery Outlet. Here is Tim Greenberg. There's a sick alert on the 405 at Venice Boulevard up against the center divider. It took away the carpool and the lane right next to it. Southbound and northbound. Southbound's where the crash is. Northbound's where they put the ambulance and the emergency equipment. Now the northbound lanes are open. The ambulance has carried off the hurt folks. And now the crash remains on the southbound side of the 405 at Venice Boulevard. Two left lanes taken away. If you stay to the right, you can slip by. Five freeway northbound connector to the 10 east. All lanes of that transition road are currently taken away. Uh, that's in the middle of the East LA interchange. And that is, of course, causing difficulty there. If you don't need to go through the 5 north to the 10 east, 